This is a tutorial explaining how to create a word list within Lagos version 4. Uh, this feature is now available if you have uh, version 4.6, so make sure that your Lagos Bible software is updated uh, to the most current version. Okay, from your home screen, uh, we, what we first want to do is we want to open up a Hebrew Bible. I'm going to be creating uh, a Hebrew word list, so we'll go ahead and uh, have you open up your library tab, and we're going to type in AFAT, which brings up the uh, Hebrew Bible Anderson Forbes Analyzed Text. And so I already have it to the Book of Ruth, so even if you do not know English, you can just type in Ruth here in this box, and it will bring up uh, the Anderson Forbes version to uh, that section of Scripture. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger here. Now what I want to do is I want to select all of the Book of Ruth. Uh, so beginning at verse 1 and chapter 1 and verse 1, I'm using my wheel and scrolling down to the end of chapter 4. So now I have all of Ruth highlighted. So now what I do is I go up to File, Word List, and what this does is it brings up a, a menu box. I'll make that a little bigger over here. Notice here uh, we have a little edit this text little pencil icon, so go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to type in Ruth Word List, just so that I know I can uh, create it and look for it and bring it up again if I want to do it again uh, in the future, look at it again. So now, now that I have Ruth highlighted, I want to go Add, so now click on this down arrow, and I'm going to switch over to the ESV, that's just the lemmas, and then I'm going to uh, highlight here selected, selected text. So now what it's going to do is it's going to create a word list, a basically a concordance of all the words that are found in the Hebrew version of the Book of Ruth and also bring me up the English glosses for those Hebrew words. It does it by frequency and if you go here to count you can uh, move it up or down so if you start with the lowest or you can click on it again and it'll go by high to low. So I'm going to bring this over here again, bring it a little bit more. So now we can see we have the actual Hebrew word, the Hebrew lemma. There's the display and the gloss, which are basically going to be the same, but then what we're interested in here is the number of occurrences of those different Hebrew words and the English translation or glosses of those. So you can see that the conjunction and is used 252 times, quite a bit within four chapters. That for an article is 119 times. Preposition to is 115 times. And notice then the most frequently used verb in all of the Book of Ruth is to say. So there's a lot of dialogue or speaking uh, that occurs within the Book of Ruth. If we scroll down, uh, we can even begin to see other uh, things that are perhaps interesting to note. Uh, these frequencies of conjunctions and prepositions are pretty common all the way through uh, whatever Hebrew text you would select, especially if you choose a narrative passage like Ruth. But I want to take a look just briefly here at, look at Naomi or Numi is uh, occurring 21 times, Boaz occurs 20 times, so that is the proper name occurs uh, 21 times. Now if you scroll down, notice that Ruth only occurs 12 times within the book and so uh, the book of Ruth has got more occurrences of Naomi and Boaz than it does of the personal name Ruth. So one possible takeaway from this is that really perhaps the book of Ruth may be misnamed. It should perhaps be called the book of Naomi uh, because she occurs more frequently and more often within the book. She's at the beginning, she's at the end, and really it's really about her transformation, of course, through uh, the change agent of Ruth. So we see her transformation from a widow into a person who is blessed of the Lord uh, with the offspring of Obed. So that's a little bit there. Let's also then take a look at other things we can do. If we want to export this list, we click on this uh, little down arrow and we go to print export. And what it will do is we have the opportunity now of it exporting it to, I'll explain uh, those cards, but if we go to an Excel spreadsheet, uh, Ruth word list. I'm going to put it on the desktop and save. So 
now I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. And so we basically have the same thing go now in Excel spreadsheet. Or now if you wish to, you can add other columns, manipulate the data to be able to do more with it if you so desire to do that. Uh, so that's a feature uh, that's available now with the net. But if we go back, uh, one, uh, explain uh, the uh, word list, we can go to create vocab cards. So if you switch from grid to cards, you can now, if you had these uh, labels or card sets, you can create uh, your own personal vocab building sets. Let's say you want to learn all the uh, words that are used in Hebrew for the Book of Ruth. You can create your own card deck. So you can see here's what the front would look like, and here's what the back side would look like if you had duplex printing capabilities. So you can see there's uh, quite a, uh, a rich array of opportunities for you to analyze the data. So let's go back to the grid. And so this is just another new feature within Lagos that allows you to be able to uh, look at word counts and perhaps see more thematic uh, words and especially verbs within any selected text that you so desire. Thank you.